Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new Angels on Stage video, and we got our new event, Step to Change Anime Event has come out. It brought with us a new character, and the event is pretty much exactly like the event we had last month. You're gonna have event missions that you're gonna want to do, and you're gonna want to do those to claim your rewards to be able to go and pull in the event wish section which is just like last time it's got good stuff in it so it's worth doing pretty easy stuff you know your reward area you're going to claim that before it gets to 100 percent to maximize your stuff and then you've got boss battles here i've gotten to level 84 so far i haven't had enough time i'm, I'm going to keep pushing it but it's just like last time so you're just going to want to go ahead and go as far as you can and then then keep hitting the highest one you can after that. Um, there's no more real rewards for me to get here, so now it's just all based on dif difficulty at this point for me. Now going to the wish section, co coinciding with this event, of course, is the event limited character wish rate up banner. Let's take a look at this character. I got really lucky and I only used the tickets that the game gave me. And out of three pulls, I pulled two of the event character, which I never would have expected. But let's go ahead and look at the character first. As you can see, it is a red character, angel of the stage, Lel Cinderella Stars collab, Rarissa Amano. So let's look at the skills on this character. So on the first one, Liliel Rising, it does 120% appeal on a single opponent, increases on SP points by one. That is very cool. Very cool, actually. That's not bad at all. Then for on stage, it performs an 84% appeal on all opponents and grants 30% mind up buff to self for one turn. Not bad. Then four angels up it performs a 600 percent appeal on a single opponent yeah clearly this is not an aoe character recovers own ep by 40 percent of skill users charm and grants 15 percent charm up buff to sell for duration of battle this charm up effect increases each time it is granted so it stacks but yeah this is basically a character that all it wants to do is take care of itself and all it wants to do is hit one opponent at a time. And then for Angel of the Stage, increase own charm by 20% at the start of first standby phase. Recovers own EP by 2.5% max eats EP at start of standby phase. That's nice. And the theme bonus, increased charm by 5%. Really nice character, actually. Um, for, again, it's self-sufficiency purposes it's actually and it is this character isn't supporting anybody but herself plain and simple but yeah so not bad at all so if you do limit break this character it's basically gonna be increasing um the lily all rising And if you get it all the way to four, oh wow, that appeal goes up to 720. Dang, yeah, wow. Yeah, not a bad character. Again, tough. You know, we've talked about this before. This game is not very friendly. Um, and I'm not a huge person in recommending spending on this game. So yeah. Um, it just matters what your means are and how you're playing this game. You know, we've already talked about the festival banners here because they definitely give you more bang for your buck and I'm still gonna hold true on that one. But yeah, definitely a nice character all the way around. I, I no complaints about the character itself. And on this particular banner, it looks like you've got a 2% chance on pulling this character versus other SS's. So it definitely has a nice rate up. So you, the likelihood of you getting it is much higher. It's really gonna come down to if you want the character for your collection or not. I don't see a lot of people putting in hardcore money into this game until they adjust how their gotcha system works. Just can't recommend it giving their pricing structure. Like I've been saying all along in all my videos, great game, horrible monetization. It is what it is, right? But yeah, 
So get in there, start getting your freebies, at least from the event, because those are always good things to get in there to get your skills on your characters up. Pretty much that's it for now. Hope everybody had a good time in the first uh, community event, so to speak. I flubbed up day one. I've learned my lesson for the future. Um, and we'll talk about that the next time this comes around with some helpful tips. Because now that we've done it once, now I can see exactly what needs to be done in the future when you want to hyper-focus on how you do on that event. But enough of that. We've got our step two change event now and that's what our focus is going to be so it goes till october 27th so enjoy with that let me know if you're going to pull for this character with that as always please like and subscribe it helps a lot have a great day